Hey, uh, Horns, you know what today is, right? Yeah, it's Bro4 Squad Placement Day. I get my next assignment. That's right. It's a super important one, too. Uh, we're going to need you to clean the throw up out of the bathroom. Who threw up in the bathroom? Uh, that would be me, and it's Oops All Berries. <laughs> Welcome back in to the Bro 4 Squad podcast. This is our review of Season 5, Episode 15 of Agents, and, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. What's the show called? Entitled Rise... Hey, why don't you go ahead and have another shot? All right. Entitled Rise and Shine. I'm your host, Jeff Hornacek. With me, as always, is the mad scientist, Brian Banner, to grade this episode like we do all of our TV episodes on our four criteria. Acting, story, our favorite scene, and any theories going forward. Brian... We'll go to you first, acting on this episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I loved the acting in this. This was a really cool episode because we got to see a lot of characters that were thirdary characters, in my opinion. And Love how you're bringing thirdary like, back. It's a thing, guys. Um, but they got to flex some muscles that we haven't seen before. Uh, Whitehall, Hale, Talbot. Um, and then they brought in young... Young General Hale, love the call to Sitwell, young Sitwell. and I uh, love that scene. And and young Von Strucker. All of that was really cool, uh, which we'll talk about more in, in the story area. But uh, I I want to talk about Talbot. Um, I thought he did a really good job. I know you and me talked off pod where he kind of overacted a, a little bit. But the whole, basically once he got into the Hydra base uh, underground and Hale was basically trying to... Um, recruit him to his to her team. All of that was fantastic. They had a bad chemistry together that, in a weird way, worked. Um, Talbot and, and Hale, which I don't know the actors' names. I I not doing any research. Let's be honest with ourselves, guys. Uh, but all the kids too. We always talk about how hard it is to get kid actors. All the kids yeah. did really well in this episode. With Talbot, it's weird. I really like his character, but typically in shows, I don't like the one note like, I'm by the book. I'm some form of, form of law enforcement or military type characters. But I love his character for whatever reason. When he's on the screen, I'm like, give me more. So when he was gone, I was really missing him well, for a little while. I also think part of it is, is how they introduced him and his give and take with uh, Coulson for so long is part of what why he was a likable character. Uh, for me, Reed Diamond, who came back as Whitehall, I, I've i always been a fan of his. He's in a lot of stuff. He's in Wayward Pines, Designated Survivor. He actually plays Mark Shapiro in Moneyball. And I just think he's a great – he's better than a character actor, but uh, he pops up in a lot of stuff, and every time he does, I really enjoy him. On to the story. So there was really three main parts we had here. We had the Hydra backstory with General Hale. We had sort of all the exposition around what the Confederacy is, and then obviously the fractured S.H.I.E.L.D. team dynamics. So what did you think of any or all of, of sort of the three through lines that they pushed through? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk mainly about the, the callback and the, uh, the, the flashback storytelling with Hall's backstory and, and Hydra, um, that backstory. I absolutely love that they brought Whitehall back and showed that, hey, there is a Hydra Academy, more or less. Okay, Just which, like the S.H.I.E.L.D. Academy. Just kind of. like the S.H.I.E.L.D. Academy, which honestly, if I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick the Hydra Academy because you get to have a dog. Granted, you have to kill the dog at the end, which I probably wouldn't do and I don't condone that. But, like, they also get Captain Crunch. So... Now, do they get Captain Crunch or Oops All Berries? I think they just get Captain Crunch. I mean, you got to think, this was like, what, probably 40 years ago? Maybe 50 years ago? Did they have Oops All Berries then? I don't think the mistake at the factory had happened I yet. don't think so either. Uh, but I loved all of that. The Just them growing up and showing that, that Hydra was a force to be reckoned with, and they were grooming people from birth, essentially. Um and, and how we had General Hale, Hell, we didn't really know what she was for so long. And then now, okay, it's all starting to come together. I see why they brought her in and her play. Um, so I really enjoyed the flashback aspect of this episode. Yeah, and the casting of young Jasper Sitwell, incredible. That dude literally Seriously, looked like a fucking his, clone. Of I was going to say, is that his son in real life? Maximum. I don't, it, might, it might be, actually. I, I actually, I, I honestly think it might be. 
And then to see a young Von Strucker was really cool, too. Um, how he's just sort of the cocky asshole. Of course, he would be the jock with the Letterman's jacket shoving me in a locker. Fuck you, Derek. Um, of the three through lines, I really didn't like the Confederacy one. It just felt really shoehorned in. I'm kind of – they're trying to make it important again that th there's this cosmic force coming. And I like it from the sense of it's uniting S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA in a way. And I really dug all of Hale's motivations after they showed us her backstory. But – I don't know, man. That that one's really hollow to me, and maybe it'll change in the next few episodes, but I was not feeling it. And then the S.H.I.E.L.D. team dynamics to me was awesome. So poignant when Sky or Daisy or Chloe Bennett, she has a million names on the show, came in to confront Fitz. Story I was like, wow. Words. It was basically like mom and dad are getting in an argument at the dinner table, and you're just like, maybe I don't have to eat my vegetables now. That's like all you're concerned with. So that stuff's cool. That's the one I want to see the most of going forward. Yeah, and the I think that what they were doing – with the confederacy is that's how they're trying to honestly i think that's what this season's going to end on and if they do a next season that's what it's going to be but we don't want that we want the fractured team um and how they're going to overcome that that's kind of the last real challenge that the team has to face is, is a fractured team yeah all right best scene in this episode we got um best scene is we actually kind of made fun of it in our cold open but I really, really liked when General Hill, young General Hill, was getting placed in the conversation she she had with Whitehall. Basically, her saying, yeah, I'm really excited. What am I going to do? And he basically said, yeah, we're just going to impregnate you when the time is right to basically have a new leader. And she kind of questions the authority and goes, well, why? Like, I think that I'm better than that. And him basically saying, fuck you. You're a woman. No, you're not. So, um, <laughs> he's I from really, a different era, so different era. We don't, again, we don't agree with that on this show. And he's an asshole. So those but, two things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he cuts people up and experiments on them. So if that tells you what kind of a person he is, I, I really dug that scene again, young general Hill did fantastic. And, and, uh, Whitehall just bringing him back and showing that other side of him, how he is looking to the future of, of Hydra was really cool. So I'm going to cheat here in best scene because that's kind of a thing that Jeff yeah, Hornacek what, does at games. Do. And my best scene is actually two scenes from this that link to a, a previous scene. And it's sort of the whole framing device of when someone wakes up. So you're basically just saying my favorite scene is the whole episode. Yeah, and all of season one through four as well. Okay. No, the, the way that they did the framing device of Talbot wakes up is disoriented, finds cereal or breakfast, and Ruby ignores him. Flash forward, Coulson wakes up, is disoriented, finds, oops, all berries, and Ruby ignores him. And then Von Strucker previously did the same thing. Just seeing how all those characters handled their little social experiment or, like, how they fuck with you differently was really cool to me. And we had even more context because we saw how Von Strucker was, like... I think Talbot probably freaked out the most. Coulson was the chillest, and I'd probably put Von Strucker in the middle. If you can do that, considering he tried to kill everyone in the base... Um, last one is theories. You got anything uh, after this episode that you're predicting going forward? Um, no, not really. I mean, I'm I'm still kind of confused by all of it. I I don't think that Hydra and Shield are necessarily going to team up. I don't. I think they may be kind of like what Talbot and Coulson did. Like they don't really team up, but they kind of help each other out. Uh, but I have a big one for impact on pop culture. Let me throw this at you. Or okay. Impact. Um, as soon as the episode was over, I went out and bought three boxes of Captain Crunch. Classic Captain, Captain Oops All Berries, and all and uh, Captain Peanut Crunch butter? with berries. Wow. So uh, Crunch Berries, right? Crunch that's Berries. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. That's incredible. Yeah, that, that's – I, was I kind spent of $20 on, on cereal because of this episode. I'm not going to lie. I was distracted because I wanted Captain Crunch so goddamn uh, I, bad. Yeah, exactly. My wife walked past and was like, so we're going to the store now, right? And she literally – she wasn't even watching the show. She just saw it. <laughs> for me i have two things i'm wondering about the confederacy uh, what is their role it's gonna it maybe will tie in somehow to either infinity war or the greater mcu but whatever it is let's just make it cool and also so talbot's life is sort of in disarray here he freaked out on his kid maybe him and his wife are in trouble can he and should he get a match.com profile just to get things back on track maybe just a Dr maybe just drinks. We don't go dinner and drinks first. We just go drinks, and he meets a nice lady in the bunker. I think we should at least see what's out there. Yeah, I mean, he's got to get his beak wet. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. And on that note, we have been the Bro Four Squad podcast. Thanks for making us your home for Agents of Shield reviews. Be sure to check us out every week. We really appreciate the love. If you could subscribe to us on YouTube and iTunes, leave us a five star iTunes review. We'd appreciate it. You can find us there at Bro Four Squad. Three words. Give us a follow on Twitter at Bro Four Squad and check out everything that we're doing on our website at BroForSquad.com. Thanks, guys, and come on over for some Captain Crunch. Throwing up oops all berries would be disgusting, actually. It might rival throwing up spaghetti. <laughs>